Okay. I'll just do Blair. <laughs> What's that? I'll just do Blair. <laughs> okay. It's not working. <laughs> By the way, if you guys have funny things to say, if you could either say them out loud or type them in the Twitch chat, that would be better so we can involve our audience. Yes. Awesome. Were you watching last week? I caught up. I watched it on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of Twitch, we are now live on Twitch. Hello. Welcome to Vets Play D and D. Except it's not because it's Star Wars Five E. Uh, before we begin, just a couple of disclaimers. All of the views expressed here are expressly the views of the individuals expressing them. They are not reflective of the views of the University of Washington or the VA. Uh, we do not own Star Wars. We do not own Wizards of the Coast. And uh, all Star Wars 5e content was made in compliance with the Wizards of the Coast fan content policy. Whew. Getting, getting, getting pretty into that. Uh, that little disclaimer. Yeah, my my <laughs> bit. Um, all right, great. I'm Liv. I am your humble galaxy slash game master, whichever you prefer. Right below me, as you can see, is Agent Cooper of Twin Peaks. Um, just kidding. It's <laughs> Brennan, uh, but he is not on screen. Uh, Brennan plays our scout, Yamnak Pikal. Uh, right below uh, Brennan is one of our engineers, Doobie Fifth, played by Jesse. Uh, and to the right of Jesse is our fighter, Fairy Winton, played by Sam. Ordinarily, to the right of Sam would be our uh, operative Carlton Moth. I've noticed that I've been saying Carlton so quickly that on the stream it sounds like I'm saying Carl Moth. Uh, it's Carlton Moth. Um, anyway, the point is that that character is ordinarily played by Adam, and Adam is not here. Um, tragically, I, I wish I had a reason to give you guys, but I, I just don't know. Um, sometimes things, sometimes bad things happen to good people, but I, I, oh man, no, wait, <laughs> <laughs> no, I really hope that nothing bad happened to Adam. I do think he's a good person. You know what? I don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is our, we're already. <laughs> okay. Last but certainly not least no. to the right of where Adam would ordinarily be Ooh. is uh, Emmy who plays our other engineer, Atlee Ha. And that's all. <laughs> I hope Adam never sees this. Oh, man. <laughs> Bad things happen to good people. <laughs> what? Oh, no, it just came Why? out. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways. I do hope he's okay. When last we met, the party had just arrived a frantic chase through the mushroom jungle of Felucha, led by their guide, the daughter of the local chief. They've stumbled upon an imperial communications outpost in a jungle clearing and have not yet been detected by the scouts located there. However, it is imperative that they intervene before the scouts' knowledge of their presence on Felucha can be transmitted to the nearby prison, potentially sabotaging their mission to rescue defector and rebel informant Admiral Nathan Gilder. Great. Awesome. Uh, and we'll hop back to that little clearing in just a moment. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Looks beautiful. Awesome. Um, all right. Well, as I said, uh, here you are. Welcome back to the jungle. You haven't been detected yet by the scout troopers. But how would you like to proceed? So just to clarify, we do know that they are there. We're going to go forward with that. Yeah, you can see them. Yes! Score. They're all maneuvering about, um, and like this one over here is fussing with the computer terminal. Um, these two are like, you know, kicking rocks into this river or whatever they do. Um, I don't know. Maybe this one's taking a leak. I haven't really thought about what they're doing. They're just doing scout trooper shit. Um, nothing um, important. I say we stealthily go in and try to like slit their throats and shit. Wow, that seems... I'm surprised that you don't want to just blow them up right away, but that's oh, I fun. do. But I feel like we should. I should give people who have stealth the opportunity to use their stealth mm -hmm. before I just go in balls to the wall. That'll that's be so Carlton thoughtful of you. Moth. Yeah, Carlton Moth is stealthy. Stealthy. Jeez. Stealthy. Stealthy. Oh, and apparently Doobie's <laughs> rather stealthy so today stealthy. too. Yeah. Um, oh, so wow. um, I'm down. I don't even think I have a knife. I need to go shopping. <laughs> anyone who would like to be s s sneaky stealthy is welcome to um, you can buy stealth at the store no 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 uh, a knife if we're shanking them <gasps> we should have gone to the store first Damn there was it. no Why store there ask? was just a village and you guys had lots of opportunities to get supplies from the village but you were too concerned with like <laughs> being like little pseudo anthropologists or whatever it was you were doing there I don't know 
I was just really curious. I wanted something to ride. <laughs> what about vibro weapons? What are those? Yeah, use that's what I was gonna say. Throw? My vibro claw. Yeah, vibro How, weapons. Like, are those like loud? No, I don't think so. Um, you can see like they appear like in canon Star Wars media, um, but you can't really like you don't really notice that they're vibrating. It's pretty quiet. I don't really know what makes the vibrating thing special, except that maybe they're like multi-use that way. So. I would like to um, see if they have any uh, rideable vehicles in the area. Mm. The scout troopers? Yeah. Um, okay, well, I didn't make a token for it or anything, but they do have um, a broken speeder bike. It's like next to the console. It's It doesn't, it doesn't work. Sorry. Um. <laughs> um, Liv, have I had an opportunity to like dry out in some sort of rice-like grain, my jetpack from landing in the marsh. No, it will have to Just be repaired. Um, but oh, okay. you're welcome to, you know what? Hang on. Here's, here's, you guys haven't been detected. You have plenty of time for like some tinkering. It's like, I, okay. well, wait, no, I just said that you don't have time for tinkering. Do me. Do me. Do me. I, my ear like perks up a little bit and like points at Fury's <laughs> little voice, and I'm gonna mosey on over stealthily because I roll. I'll just turn around while you work oh. on it. Okay, okay, okay. You want me to take it off? Uh, no, Rawr. just turn around. Okay. <laughs> We're kind of the same height, so it works. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, I don't know, hammering things, kind of like aggressively shake a little bit. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering yeah. about like whether that noise would disturb the scout troopers, um, oh, I'm being very quiet. <laughs> You're banging you on. <laughs> it's fine. You, you doesn't matter. You guys are stealthy, but also there's uh -huh. lots of fungal jungle noises. So, ooh, lots of insects. Be not concerned. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, though, um, I think that Carlton Moth is going to start. Wait, hang on. Let me roll stealth for Carlton Moth. Oh. <laughs> guys, he got a nat twenty. Oh, nice! Yeah, Good. he's so sneaky. I'm, I'm sure he has a bonus to that, but yeah, he's, sure he he's the sneakiest ever. Um, and he's gonna start. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. He's, you know, pink panthering about, um, <laughs> rolling behind the bushes. Yeah, <laughs> like poking his head up. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. Um, I ask you, I'm not if I if I uh, am stealthy enough to go and get the rideable. To cause a distraction by going and getting the rideable vehicle, um, if that would give, if that would give you enough time to do some shooty shoots with your stuff. Me? No, no you're they're asking busy. Yamnock. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Oh, oh my yay! god! Noise! <laughs> wow! Uh, good uh, right it's there. off the screen, but uh, Atlee got a nat twenty. Um, no, it's not your fault That's for their stealth. Um, so I'm just gonna go towards where I assume the, the speeder bike is over here. Um, it's oh. just like next to the. Yeah, how are you gonna get there? Are you gonna I'm, go around that big yeah, turquoise I'm pinging, thingy? And I'm pinging and I'm pinging. I see um, it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so how uh do be roll uh do do a, a a technology check, please. For your repair skills. Yeah. At the troopers look around the scene. What? Brandon, I don't know what that means. As the troopers look around the scene, they're not. They're idiots. Like they're they're dumb. Um. <laughs> oh, doobie. Um. <laughs> Wait, I just I'm I'm still figuring it out. I'm troubleshooting right now. No, it's I'm okay. It's yeah. No, I get it. Proficient in jetpack. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be, What are you What are you up to at this time? Are you just chilling with doobie and Fury? Uh, yeah, I I have my gun out. I was covering um Adley. Okay. I realize now that we don't have a uh, a symbol to um, to to notify you that I'm ready, <laughs> so I just kind of pop my little head out and look around and see if you see me. Hey, old river. <laughs> I guess I should probably have Carlton Moss character sheet up for my 
viewing purposes, since I have to play as Carlton Moth today. I know we don't have bards in Star Wars 5e, but if we did... I don't see why not. I he, Do I'm you a, see the song that's happening in the chat? Yeah. Turn around. Oh man. And I get a little bit sneaky <laughs> I as I stalk some scout some troopers. troopers. Yeah, Turn I, around. <laughs> I didn't know that's I that's Get why I was confused by this commentary. I didn't understand that you know what? I really respect your uh, your it's creativity, Brandon. Um I, I didn't love know bard song making. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. As he knows. The first game I ever played with him, I did Cop Metallica, Copper Copperella, Copperella. I don't know. It was some sort of like band name based off of Metallica. Um, and I had to do a song to distract the enemies. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, who's who, going? I don't know who's uh, going. Atley? Oh, oh yeah, Jesse, yeah. did you do Hadley. your um uh, technology? It's been, Eleven. It's been a, yeah. You can We're roll in again. The field. Yeah, you can roll, know. roll technology yeah. again. Go for it. Also, question. Where Try to. Get? <gasps> oh, oh my God! Amazing! Quick, quick, you fixed the jetpack. Good job. Yeah. Wow. It sputters to life. Oh, <laughs> is it loud? It out a little bit. Quickly. Oh, um, yeah. Damn. I guess I didn't think about that. It's. It's pretty loud. Oh, no. um, all of this, all of the scout troopers turn in the yeah. direction of the I commotion. Am so, um, sorry. so unfortunately, Carlson Moth's nat twenty for stealth is is kind of irrelevant. But oh, Atley, no. Atley, you're still so sneaky. Amazing. Okay. All right. Uh, everybody, roll initiative, please. Oh, oh that's fine. Where did my there it is? <clears throat> I have really bad news, guys. The scout troopers are rolling really well for their initiative. Well, god damn it. Um Jesus. Oh my god, I hadn't even looked at what you guys rolled yet. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. It's not good no it's bad um okay well maybe i haven't rolled for carlson yet maybe he'll redeem us holy shit guys he got a three <laughs> really bad. um and his bonus serious? to initiative oh, is so he got a five um okay what so what happens when you go after a jail i guess we got oh, yamnak no. then we got fury with seven we got carlson with five and we got Atley with three, and Doobie with two. I'm so <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, yeah, that's really They're unfortunate. They're before us, aren't they? Except maybe Yamnok. Uh, yeah. So the, this this trooper here rolled uh, rolled the highest initiative, so he is going to go first. And um, since Carlton is the closest to him, uh, he is going to uh, aim his blaster carbine rifle at him, and he's gonna roll to hit uh wait one uh d -d 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 brass talica is what it was called thank you brandon brass talica yeah nice um okay and where did it go oh uh yeah so he rolls to hit um carlton moss and it hits doing three damage um, to Carlton Moth. Hits him square in the shoulder. And he goes, Ugh! it disrupts his stealthy little music video thing he was doing. Um, but then, uh, great news, because after that, it's uh, it's Yamnok's turn. Uh, I'm just going to shoot. <laughs> okay. At which one? Um, I'll shoot that guy. Okay, awesome. Please roll to hit. Uh, those, yeah, that will hit. That will hit so hard. Um, roll for damage. Um, and then I'll do a second attack on that same guy. Okay. Go for it. Roll to hit. That will hit. 
obviously. And roll for damage one more time. Oh, he's struggling. Um, he stumbles back into that river. He's still alive, but he's not not feeling well. Okay, uh, great. Um, and then his buddy next to him decides to exact his revenge. Uh, and, well, he starts to aim his... Uh, how many, wait, hang on. How many feet is that? Give me a second, give me a second. Um, <laughs> 55 feet. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, he's going to try to aim past that mushroom at you, Yamnok, uh, but he's going to roll with disadvantage for it. Uh, Yamnok, what is your armor class? Uh, 15. Okay. Um it's it's a miracle. The scout trooper is the sharpest sharpshooter of all scout troopers, um, and he somehow maneuvers around the thick trunk of that mushroom, um, shroom trunk, uh, and uh, rolls for he rolls for damage, is what he does. That's nice of him. You take two damage. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so great. Uh, now it is. Uh, the turn of, hang on, this scout trooper, uh, and he notices a little furball that is like oh. sputtering. I guess I don't know, maybe hip hippity hopping, like levitating, bouncing off the ground a little bit. I don't know what you're doing with your jetpack, but he notices you and uh, levies his blaster carbine rifle at you. <laughs> And he misses. It's uh, it's tragic. He goes whizzing over your head. He it didn't account for your your height, um, apparently. Uh, and finally, it is this guy's turn, and he's totally oblivious to Atlee. So he is going to start maneuvering slowly. Um, wait, his movement speed is thirty. Okay, yeah. Um, if you're in this water, you're going to be moving at half speed. Um, so he's only able to get it get to there um and and that's it he's starting to maneuver towards where he believes the commotion to be um and that's the end of his turn uh and now it is fury's turn okay so i'm gonna uh, I'm like <laughs> yeah I'm the like, trooper right maneuvers here. The thick shaft of the i'm reading brandon's commentary <laughs> yeah brandon's <laughs> comment the trooper maneuvers around the thick shaft of mushroom um so I'm gonna like psh, like right up to the top of this. Uh, oh, do you climb? You, did you climb it? Avatar? No, I'm in my jetpack. Oh, you're. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm using it like sort of as coverage. Um, it's like sort of as cover. Okay. Because I'm going to whip out my grenade launcher, and I'm gonna use an incendiary grenade in that bad boy. But let's take. A shot first. Little Who are you 17. aiming at? Sorry. So I'm aiming right here. Oh, betwixt them. Okay. Betwixt. Yep. All right. The one who stumbled back into the water, like he's he's, I mean, play, like do do your damage business, but like he's dead. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be, incendiary is two d eight fire damage. So. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be 11 damage total. I don't know if you want to split it between them or. No, oh, guy, this guy had literally wait, one hit point wait. left. <laughs> before we do it, before we do that, um, I need you DM to do a constitution saving throw. I was for, oh, I, no, I'm sorry. A deck saving throw. I don't know why, but I just felt like so threatened by that. Like personally, Sorry, <laughs> I was like, well, um, I mean, you no. can take you can take the full damage if you want, but if you succeed on a deck saving throw and you get fourteen or more, then you only take half damage. Yeah, so um, your choice. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I just rolled a fifteen, so 
Um, I did guess, you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so then it would be like six damage total. Okay, great. So, uh, well, like I said, this guy had one hit point left. Like he, that knocked him out. Um, I don't, honestly, even if it just like knocked him back into the water, he would drown a couple minutes later. So he's out. Okay. Um, this guy takes six damage. Whoops. Okay. okay. Um, um, I'm going to go ahead and do another attack because I'm a fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, I, how much, how far can these reach? Uh, 160. Can lightsabers really do 160 range? Oh, wait, that's that doesn't what make I have. Any sense. Advantage is range 40. So let's see, I've already done one, two, three. Each are five. Each square is five. Yes. Okay, so I can do six total. So I'm going to move there. 5, 10, 15, 20. Good. Okay. So I'm just going to shoot my shot from my lightsaber. What? Or my, I'm sorry, my light pistol. <laughs> sorry. I was ah. like, oh my God, is this a big reveal about fairy sorry, that she's no, the secret I'm sorry, Jedi? I just said it wrong. <laughs> I was so excited. Like, no. multi-classing? Oh, my God. No, I'm <laughs> sorry. That would have been rad. Okay, a uh, 26 will hit. <laughs> okay. Little Yoda out here. Oh, no, that's not right. I'm sorry. Hang on. Okay, so that's four, eight damage. Oh, my God. Okay. Two um, that. Guy he right there. collapses into the water. He's alive, but not for long. Um, okay. So I'm going to use my action surge on our first round of fighting, and I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Okay. So 15 will hit. Okay. And the human population searching Eight to hit eight damage again. Uh, he's dead. He's super dead. Um, so there are corpses polluting the water supply of the Felucian village now. Great job. Um, <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I can't. T- I can't control which way they drop. <laughs> okay. okay um, all right. Awesome. <laughs> it is now Carlton Moth's turn, uh, and Carlton Moth uh, is going to use his blaster pistol well first of all he's going to um one two three four four uh he's gonna use some of his movement to get a little bit closer and then he's gonna point his blaster pistol at this scout right here um uh a 19 will hit for sure adam's alive what adam's alive thank oh, god thank goodness how, yeah. guys i don't know how to roll for damage this is so hard no <laughs> You know. may have to manually type that. Yeah, in I'm, I'm going to do it just manually on my desk right in front of me. <laughs> this is going to be easier for me. Um, okay, he deals six damage to the scout trooper. Um, <laughs> uh, um, okay, great. Yeah, he deals six damage to that scout trooper. Uh, and then he's going to uh, I know he has. Okay, there it is. He has uncanny dodge, so he what? No, wait, no, 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 no. That's not what he's using. You know what? He's an operative, and they basically work like rogues. And I don't really know the rules beyond that for operatives, but I know that he can dodge, so he's going to dodge. That's what he does. <laughs> um, <laughs> classic, classic Carlton. Uh, and now it's Atlee's turn. It is. Um, I'm trying to use my stealth to one, two, three behind here. Um, and I'm not close enough to keep moving to use my sword on. Uh, no, okay. you'd have to, it's thir- you have 30 feet of movement and each of these squares is five feet. Oh, 25, 30. Well, I, will be here with my fusion cutter ready to take out this comms equipment awesome that's needed oh are sweet. you like holding an action yeah nice 
Um, update for the viewers, Adam, also known as Carlton Moth, uh, was being responsible and um, prioritizing his Study. academic success. He was studying. Uh, so that's why, that's why he's not here. So fear not. No bad things happen to good people. Yeah. <laughs> All yes. good things. Apparently studying. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I got distracted checking in on Adam. Uh, Atlee, was that the end of your turn? That was, yeah. I'm okay. still stealthy. I All right. Stealthy. Doobie has been waiting patiently for such a long time. Jared. Just Ready. awestruck by the action. And now it's his turn. Yeah. He's honestly like patting himself on the back, too, for fixing the jetpack. But yeah, you should be proud. Before I, before I do my action, I want some context. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does the ground floor look like in moderate detail? What, uh, I mean, it's exactly. like the ground floor between me and the stormtrooper um this one yeah it, like is it like wet is it muddy what kind of like uh it's like sp bugs? it's like it's kind of damp but it's just like spongy soil um i don't really know how to describe i don't like it <laughs> okay. it's not Forest super muddy floor. it's not like bad ter like it's not like you're not gonna be inhibited by the terrain in any way it's there's just it's moss the soil is spongy yes there are insects everywhere there's like little mushrooms here and there, but mostly just these like big ones that you can see on the map. Um, well, <laughs> why? What is it that you're <laughs> interested in doing? Do, but I'm still gonna do it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to wait. Hold on. I had it prepared. Um, yeah, I'm gonna launch a grappling wire. <laughs> wait. Oh, hold on. I gotta move forward first because the range is 30 feet. So I'm going to like scoot forward a little bit, kind of like Neil, I feel like, and then whip out a grappling wire yeah. and shoot it at this, uh, this guy. Wait, you know, you know, this guy. Yes, I know the guy. Um, and I'm just going to put it in the roll 20 first, just to make sure I'm doing everything right. Cast at what level? Oh, two? Let me read huh. this. You so launch a grappling wire. Oh yeah, it should be a it should be a two d six because of because I'm a level five. But mm -hmm. um, I think he has to like do a deck saving thingy first. Um, okay. Um, oh, if the attack, hit. yeah, just so just rolled a hit. I think is how. Oh, the way I'm reading that makes it seem like you just rolled a hit, and if it like. If it exceeds his armor class, same as always, then it, he takes 2d6 damage and okay. also comes 10 feet closer to you. That's yeah, I'm how I interpret that. Across the floor. Yeah, so please do roll to hit. Okay. How do you do that? So Just roll a d20. Know, sheet, it's just a d20? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, okay. Forwards, wait, r forward slash d20. Nope. Uh, forward slash r d20? No. Uh, forward slash 20? I don't know. Oh, the, oh it's the it's way you're saying the slash, words is throwing me off. So it's it's backward slash roll. Oh, backward slash r roll. No. Nope. Oh, you literally Just, have to spell roll. Yep. <laughs> backward slash. You're doing the wrong slash. The one next to the shift key, like the divide sign. <laughs> this is unrecognized yeah, okay, command. Wait, so I did forward slash R. And then space D twenty. Space D twenty. Got it. Okay. There you I'm go. Write that down. Sorry. Oh so, my bad. Oh my god. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Doobie. Emmy, get it. out of there, Emmy. What are you doing? Do what are you having? To be a nine. Are you though? <laughs> a nine with your grappling hook will miraculously hit. Maybe it snags him. Really? Yeah, like um, you know how they have like a little bit of a gap between their their pants armor and their 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 tum tum armor, and they have like oh, a yeah, like I a little like that gap. Yeah, you get it on his like a little elastic tum tum coverage. Um, okay. okay, and I just. <laughs> It dad grapples bod. him. Um, Scout Trooper Dad Bod. Um, oh, the real Dilf Scout all yeah. along. Scout Trooper was the real Dilf all along. <laughs> oh, I, f I didn't explain. Oh, okay. Um, you know how I introduced like a, a very milfy NPC? This week we get a very Dilfy NPC. If we get that far, I'm not sure if we will. Um, but it's very exciting. At some stuff. point, we were going to have a very Dilfy NPC, which is very exciting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. 
the real <laughs> fall along. Okay, great. Sorry. Uh, so that does 2d6 damage to him and brings him 10 feet closer to you, right? Yep. yep. Um, okay. I don't know how I want to do this diagonally. Um, I'm, I'm uh, popping right there. Call it 10 feet. Oh, nice. Um, and, uh, just do, roll 2d6 for damage. I can do that. Oh, hell yeah, 10. Nice, nice. great. Um, yeah, so actually that grappling hook got him in the stomach. Like it went past his tum-tum webbing, stretchy oh. stuff. You got him in the stomach, so he's like really not doing well. You yanked him by his innards. Okay. Um, oh, by, his, <laughs> by his dad bod innards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, actually, hang on. Was that the was that the one? That, oh, bad news for that guy because that was the one that he already took a shot from Carlton Moth. Um, you're dragging his corpse towards you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> so unfortunately, oh. Doobie, now you're probably gonna. I think you have to go like manually fun. unhook that <laughs> grappling hook from well, the corpse's just from his <laughs> his dad bod belly. <laughs> Oh, um, so I like good job. Him, rip out probably his innards, and then he just dies on the scene. Yeah, um, shocking. And Brand- then I drag. Yeah, you drag him. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's so just horrific. Kind of visualize. Um, how horrible. All right, well, it was. Y- yeah. That is so <laughs> tragic and disgusting. Was, like, um, especially because like he's a father. So what the hell is wrong with <gasps> you? Um. <laughs> okay. um I mean, it's not like we interview them clones? before they start shooting at us. No, oh, they're not no. clones. Oh, my God. I know. We just had the Clone War. Lore and check. It's now. Lore check. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. It was only three months ago. But Come on. Like, you're right. He's not cl- a father. He ain't nothing. No, he is a father. I literally Aww. just said he's a father. Why are you, like, fighting with me on the lore about this oh, made-up character that I made up? <laughs> he's um, a dad. Did he produce? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so, but he's not a clone. I know, but I was that's, just wondering. Um, I mean, I suppose he adopted. Me. Did he adopt? Oh I'm, my god, he's an adopter. I don't know, but clones. I suppose <laughs> there's no reason why. I would why. have a dad bod anyway. <laughs> um, actually, it's Clone Wars lore. <laughs> clone Wars lore. Clones can reproduce. I know that because there is a clone defector who um, has. Uh, he has. <laughs> mixed race babies with a sexy twilight lady uh in the clone wars tv series she's pink and they have they have little mixed race babies (laughs) um um little human twilight combo babies um so no like cgi babies (laughs) yeah i mean yeah it's um anyways uh geez i got distracted but brandon wants to know of our french yes yeah 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 exactly Yeah, yeah um Oh, uh, and he becomes a farmer. <laughs> he just like wants to chill and live his life. He doesn't want to be. He's not. He's not built for fighting. But anyway, Brandon wants to know if our Dilphy NPC is going to be played by Jordan. Um, no, uh, I am. Uh, you know, tra- <laughs> no. I, I haven't invited him to play the Dilph. Maybe if he has some free time next week, he'd like to come by and play the Dilph. Um, but my plan was just that you know I am a jack of many trades. I can milf it up. I can dilf it up. I could even gilf it up. I'm not planning to, but uh, who's to say down the line? Um. Anyways, Let's gilf it up. Go to bed, Grandma. kids. Go to bed, Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> um. All right. Great. Well, now we've come all the way back around. It is Yum Nox's turn. It up, and then it's the great grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> it's GG it up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. It's your turn. How would you like to proceed now that the spongy soil is strewn with dad bod corpses? Uh, I'll just shoot the last guy. Uh, okay, what's the range on your weapon? It's, um, hold on. Are you measuring? Has it... No, I was trying to Sorry. find the stats. Hold on. Oh, you're good. It's at 120, 480. Okay, you're totally good. Um, and I was going to have you roll with disadvantage because he's obstructed by that fat mushroom trunk, but you would, I mean, it automatically rolled with disadvantage and you still, you got it. You're good. Excellent. Continue. Um, that will hit for sure. Please roll for damage. That's where you do the R and then the 
Yeah, because you know how it works. Sheets don't work for that. Um, um, great. Did I kill him, death. or should I do a different attack? Uh, that did attack. not kill him, but he. Okay, well, I'll do another attack. Okay, cool. He's stumbling. He's supporting himself against the the mushroom trunk. Did we keep him alive? Um. What? That's a good idea. No, I I mean like. I, it's. I feel like it's too fire. too late for anyone to have brought that up at this point. Um, and he did fire, and a fourteen will hit. Um, Roll for damage. Oh. Get it. Nothing. Well. Yeah, he it? he's dead. Oh, now there are three corpses polluting the water. So, yeah. sorry about that. Or not. I don't know. It depends on what you wanted. Congratulations, everyone. On. Killing uh, murdering all these parents <laughs> just in time for father's day <laughs> oh my god um okay great so congratulations you were able to prevent those scout troopers from uh transmitting to the the prison facility that you're here on felucha and that you're clearly here to stir up trouble um uh i want to investigate gm yeah, sorry. What's up? What? Um, we have someone who's available to be Dilf. Who wants to who wants to be the Dilf? Brandon. Brandon wants to be our Dilf. Yay! Yes. 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 He says I have. I oh no. He said I love the flexibility. I read I have the flexibility. I may be wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. That I got really excited. <laughs> Okay, well, Brandon does some. Excited. Brandon watch, has been watching our streams pretty consistently for the past couple weeks, yeah, so I don't know. On. I'll chat out with you later, Brandon. But like, if you're available and you'd like to role play as our Dilfy NPC, we would love to have you. He's gonna be a really cool character. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is exciting. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna start to investigate the satellite area. Okay, great. Let's see if um, there's anything that we can use. Yes, please do investigate it up. I May I search like to... the corpses? Yep, same. We're on the same wave. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the little guys will yeah. investigate the corpses. Oh. Um, okay, well, you find um, that... Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> My... <laughs> Just average rolls. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Um, each of them was carrying a standard weapon. Um, they're all just carrying um, a blaster carbine rifle. Uh, and this one had a picture of his twin children. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I can't wait to see you in a couple of days. Yeah, it was tucked oh, into his, it was tucked oh into like God. his breastplate. No. Um, and, um, actually, so Magic. it was, it was tucked into his breastplate and it had been like, um, you know, like field laminated with just like packing tape and it was full of like spongy mushroom dirt. Um, now it's. Oh soaked in blood um oh so God. i hope you feel, no. <laughs> i hope you feel good about that no, um, i don't i don't feel good about that at all um, anyways um oh my heart <laughs> can i take his blaster if you want <laughs> yeah He's wait it's like a rifle thing it. so i have a simple a simple blaster well it's a blaster carbine more. rifle i can i will copy yeah, I and paste the that, stats so for it hang on it. Need Here. Shopping when you can just um there i just copy and pasted the stats for it into the chat you can feel free to i don't know if that's a real weapon on star wars 5e it's just what's in his stat block on my um can... my like pre-written campaign um I'll so uh yeah that's all you you're welcome to have that um okay awesome uh atley Okay, cool, sweet. So add that to your character sheet when you get a moment. Uh, Atley, oh. if you could roll a technology check for me, that would be fabulous. What I would like to do is roll a piloting check. A what? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, you know, this is fine. This is fine. I was going to say a piloting say viol check. Oh, I thought you said Pilot. violating. I, was I like, did not. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, wait, what did you say? Slow. slow. Piloting. Piloting. But wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I, that wouldn't make any sense because you're it, like poking around this computer. So it's a good thing that your technology check was pretty damn good um so you are able to figure out that the reason it was taking them so long to um transmit uh that intel about there being intruders uh mischief makers on a uh, on their planet is uh that there's something about like the uh the chemicals and the gases that are released by these mushrooms that was like interfering with their frequencies i don't i didn't write that don't ask me how that works i don't know anything about 
computers. Um, but you are able actually to um, uh, tune it to exactly the same frequen frequency uh, as that interference is generated by the Felucian plant life. Um, so uh, as far as you're aware, it should be just broadcasting white noise across across the entire entire imperial communication spectrum uh, and should also scramble the navigational arrays that are built into scout trooper armor. Um, so I wouldn't worry about reinforcements showing up anytime soon. Great job. Nice. Okay, wonderful. Now I move over since no one else is doing anything and I start to repair the... The, the speeder vehicle. bike? Yeah! <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, roll technology <laughs> again. And piloting. I don't care. Roll both. <laughs> What's everybody else up to? Yeah, I'm not. You still chilling in that corner? How do you feel after watching that dad go down? Uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out here. Okay. Um, great. I didn't make a token for her, by the way, but the chief's daughter, um, she did not really come equipped to fight. She thought she was just going to be like leading you guys to the prison. So she, I didn't make a token for her, but she's been chilling in, in this coverage back here this whole time. Um, and she emerges. Um, and I have landed, by the way. I landed you have landed. Ubi's going to go right up to her. I don't know where she is. And oh, she's going to be like, my she's lady. She's over here. My lady. My lady. <laughs> okay, she just stares at you and like gurgles because she doesn't speak basic. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. I pass the vocoder Everyone can over speak to body you. body language. Pardon? I, I pass oh. you the vocoder. Can I do that? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Okay, oh, cool. <laughs> then I'm going to put the vocoder up, I guess, to my, I don't know, wherever you put it. Okay, the vo the vocoder uh trans like the vocoder translates non galactic basic stuff into galactic basic. I think. Let me double check. Well, I'm speaking oh. galactic basic, right? And they're speaking. Yeah. Oh, so, so she would okay. need it. Got it. Yeah. I mean, you're welcome to. I mean, now you're in oh. possession of the vocoder. So maybe if you want to pass it to the Felucian, I don't. I'm gonna pass it to the Felucian. Okay, she's really confused by it, the same as the that other Feluchin was, so it's going to take her a little while to figure out how this works. She's not familiar. Oh, well, I can, like, mime it. Oh, it's the whole thing. <laughs> okay, well... I just want to see if she's okay. Can I... Roll technology. Me? Help try and help her try and figure okay. out how to use that technology. Um, Fury, what are you up to besides passing that vocoder off, trying to be a good wing woman? <laughs> um... I'm just, uh, so there's like no sort of like, like ammo shed or anything, right? No. Like, would they have extra ammo? No. Sorry. In case they needed it? Just a communications outpost. I'm really sorry about that. So how did four dudes get out here on one bike? Oh, so they have been having a lot of problems with their, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like, <laughs> like a human centipede the situation. Daddy gang, no. <laughs> Wait, okay, blah, blah, blah. side note. Speaking no. of the game, I feel like I have another game that I play with myself called The Human Centipede, where I see how long I can go before... No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify, please! <laughs> it's like I see how long I can go before, like, there's a reference of The Human Centipede. Okay. I don't know. And then, like, I was going good for a couple years and then lost, like, a couple weeks ago, and now I just lost again. Uh, oh, okay. Well, so I'm... just a shocking concept. Could we just collectively, that, but... as a okay. human species, agree to wipe that <laughs> from our consciousness, that entire I remember being haunted movie? by it as a kid. Oh, I've actually never seen The Human Centipede because I'm too scared no. of it. I, I'm not planning I to. Um, I have read the Wikipedia page for every film in the series, so I know thoroughly the plot of every human centipede movie and that is more than enough for me i don't need to see it um no. yeah i think i was just curious about like how it goes down but that's about it okay. literally it's surgery or goes across yeah really uh, oh oh all okay, right you know, i don't really want to talk about it anymore <laughs> um atley maybe are you <laughs> atley maybe you're still tinkering with that bike it's over here by the way um you can go back and take her with a bike even though i you know yeah uh, so if you roll technology again, by the way, the way they got out there is that, um, uh, like they've been having a lot of problems with their bikes because of like, you know, the way the repulsor engines work over this like spongy soil, it's like kicking back a lot of moisture. And so, um, they all came out on bikes originally, but they got towed back, um, because they weren't working. Um, so like, what was their plan for getting back? They were going to have to the hike or hope that the reinforcements like towed their, their repulsor sleds back to them or whatever. They not. said rocket back. So let me get this straight. 
<laughs> um, there is a plan to somehow get these stormtroopers back to a base. And we have at least two people. We have two people that are relatively the same size as these stormtroopers and the uniforms in which they are currently residing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing what you're saying. Um, uh-huh. So um, if, it sounds like you have a really good idea, but unfortunately you don't have any way to communicate it because you are trying to help Doobie get a girlfriend. Um, oh, so, <laughs> but, but, uh, I mean, I'm not actually listening to Doobie and the girlfriend thing happening. I'm just thinking about this other stuff while that's going on. I just yeah, off no, that's like there. an excellent thought that you're having. Um, so uh, you can. Yeah. E- this is a big, this is big, big speeder bike. Two uh, human-sized individuals could definitely fit on it, um, mm-hmm. as long as it can be repaired. Um, and uh, yeah, but you guys are not that far from the prison. Like you guys are well within walking okay. distance of the prison. Um, okay. So probably not worth it. Yeah. But we also we have, have our two people who are the same size at relatively as stormtroopers that are wearing stormtrooper uniforms. So, so true you do. You also though have a scout who has agreed to lead you to the prison stealthily. So I don't know, you know. Yeah, you have options. Um and uh, at this moment let's just take those uniforms. Let's just it, leave yeah. them naked. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to add insult to injury to that dad I that you know. slaughtered, you should just Your strip him naked and leave him there Actually, to rot in the jungle. Or we could bury him. Oh okay. <laughs> and take his uniform anyway. Okay. We, I feel like we should fish the ones out of the water. I don't know. That can't be good for the town. Yeah, we should do that. Okay. So uh I can do I be, have a are you back, back, please? I'm I'm trying to get her to. Can you hurry up? She's oh, rejecting you. She doesn't. She okay. doesn't. Just give me. Just I'm, I'm just like nom 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 nom. Um, <laughs> Carlton is gonna walk over to the, while you guys are doing that. He's gonna walk over to uh these these corpses and he also thinks it's bad that they're potentially contaminating the local water supply. So he's gonna start trying to drag them out and he's gonna holler over it. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask for help. Um, and he's gonna roll a strength check. Is what he's gonna do. Um, yeah, I can help. Yeah, okay, please do. Okay. Happy to help. Is it the big one? What? Um, the the thing that you're rolling, it's not it's not a strength saving throw, it's the big one. It's like the big box. Was yeah, the I don't I don't want to yeah. save. Just I want to check. Why am I having such a hard time? Just strength. It's just the big oh, one on the you left. You have to do you yeah. click the text. That's why I was having a hard yep. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just okay. strength, right? Yeah, okay. Doobie, are you helping? <laughs> so nice. Yeah, I got an eleven, so at least I could like oh my grab God. Off my foot. Okay, great. Yeah. And fear you're helping to. All right. Uh, also, we 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 waved at Yamnak, but Yamnak might be rejecting us. Maybe Yamnak has been scarred by battle. Um, but we did try to usher him over to um, help well, maybe dra- he's a dad. drag the that. bods. Yeah, we don't know. Yamnak has been pretty private about his life. Maybe dealing with emotional. I hear all the screaming, and I noticed that you guys are doing that. And I come over and start to drag this body out since I'm giving up on my damn speeder. Okay, it's roll the working. strength check, please. Um. Yeah, I'm not quite you up to. You're still chilling? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so ignoring their requests to drag the bods out. <laughs> that's fine. It's Bad bods. It. Okay. Um, that's all right. It's okay that Yamnak is just chilling because you guys are um able to successfully watch. remove the the bods from the water. Um, great. Um. Okay, so now now you guys are just chilling in this clearing, um, and all the threats have been eliminated. Seems like it's been kind of a futile effort to try and fix that bike, which is a shame. But you have successfully scrambled the Empire's communications, um, and at this point, the um, uh, the scout, the uh, chief's daughter, is going to start to kind of usher you guys, um, over to this region of the map that I'm pinging. Um, and, uh, she seems to be trying to lead you guys further into the jungle towards the prison, which was your final intended destination. Are you following? Um, yeah. It sounded we, like a threat. Did okay. we take some stormtrooper? <laughs> did you take what? Some stormtrooper uniforms. I don't know if we took Oh, them. does that, did you want to? Wait, I don't know if Yuri has told us about this game. I guess I'm metagaming. Yeah, I just mention it right now. Like, do we want to take oh, okay. those or maybe bury them? Because actually it might look, it might be kind of good if we like buried them and the bike. Because then maybe it just kind of looks like they all went AWOL. Yeah. Instead of like there being enemies in the area. That's true. How diggable Or we can the rip look? them apart. 
and make oh. them look like they've been eaten oh. <laughs> okay or not oh my god <laughs> we could we we could oh, fear you or be like, and hear me out eat them <laughs> we eat them when's the last time you had a good meal i'm thinking Never. about you here me? oh god i'm so hungry but it's okay fast you think you could eat well we're about to be storm. finishing up here okay. pretty soon oh, so you guys should make a decision about what you want to do with the stormtroopers yeah, um, i don't know that long pork cooks well in an air fryer so okay we're gonna <laughs> i'm gonna leave them then i vote to leave yeah. them and start moving towards the edge of the okay. yeah can we at least like stick them under a mushroom yeah yes. I, like there might I agree with that. Vegetation. at least we can try <gasps> another one yeah like they're having a whole tea party just set them up yeah. oh my like, god honorable <laughs> Just, well, just like they an ate the wrong position. mushroom, okay? Like, like putting exactly. their arms like over there, you know. <laughs> like, okay. Have a little mushroom in their mouth, even though they have like clear grappling hook damage to the intestines. It's a fun little um, corpse tea party. So you guys go ahead and set that up. I won't make you roll strength. You were obviously strong enough to drag drag them out of the water, so that's fine. Um, great. Are you guys going to take any of their armor? No. Nah. No? Okay. All right. That's I respect that decision. Um, all right. Well, the chief's daughter is going to lead you to the prison in silence. Okay. It's clear that... What? Can I take their knee pads? Sorry. Sh- sure. <laughs> do they have knee pads, I feel like? Okay, yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> What's up with knee pads? Because I was going to ask the same thing. Is that like, what did oh, we get that get from? What is that? There must be something. <laughs> I oh. don't know. Um, I feel like they're functional. They are. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, for, you know, like... Uh, ex- exotic. I was gonna. <laughs> no. I was gonna say like exotic dancers who do a lot of floor work. You know yeah, that too. Um, stuff like that. Um, directly where your mind went. <laughs> I mean. Uh, all right. So, anyways, the chief daughter leads you to the prison in silence. It's clear that she's an experienced scout, but as you near the facility, her trepidation. Trepid. Blah, 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 blah. I wrote this, and I knew I was gonna have to say the word trepidation, but I wrote it anyway. Her trepidation seems to grow. When you arrive, you see a squat two-story building in the characteristic imperial style looming ahead. Half a dozen stormtroopers stand at the facility's blast doors, and the low hum of speeder engines hints that there may be more scout troopers lurking nearby. Um, Could everyone roll perception, please? Also, there's a big-ass satellite dish on top of it. You don't need perception for that. You can can see it plainly. Oh, I have to roll for Carlton Moss. Okay, great. All right, so uh, Fury, you are the only one who um, also hears a thumping uh, in the distance, a heavy thudding uh, that suggests perhaps uh, an Imperial walker of some kind is also in the vicinity. Um, I let everyone know. Okay. Um, It's pretty far away. The thumping is far, but um, it's definitely around. Uh, Fortunately, your guide and the other Feluchin scouts have spent months gathering intel about this facility um, in the hope of rescuing their kidnapped brethren. Uh, And she leads you in a winding loop through the jungle around the building to its northwest corner um, and points to a rusty ventilation grate. We went up the ventilation shaft. Um, oh, by the way, Doobie, I forgot to give you um, your Tauntaun to drag around on this map, but you do have Ingot with you. Um, okay, I asked at like the beginning. I forgot. Sorry, I didn't hear you. That's fine. Okay, oh, so anyways, you guys are at the like the rear northwest corner of the building, um, and there is a rusty ventilation grate there. Um, so proceed with that information how you will. Oh, that seems fairly rusty. If we wanted to go quietly, I think I can make the fusion cutter slice through this and give us an access point since you two little ones could go in and do some recon Who oh, is the it's console? big it's a big ventilation grate you guys can, literally the tauntaun can fit through there it's a fat oh. one <laughs> um so My tauntaun is that is she like pointing at it like this is where we're supposed to go yes yeah she's indicating that you should go through the ventilation grate that it's like a stealthy entrance okay i jump in you have to there's a rusty grate in the way <laughs> oh I, can I jump through the holes in the grate? No. <laughs> You'll okay. have to remove the grate somehow. <laughs> so you're just like okay. jumping at it and like holding on to it? Yeah. Just, okay. I need you to back away. And Carlton you know, Moth like the, is going to... Mario gonna... turtles in the castle. That just... Carlton Moth is going to kind of like gently nudge you off of that. Um, and he's going to try to just yank it off. So he's going to roll a strength check real quick here. Yeah. Um... <laughs> 
Great. Uh, and just with like pure brute strength, he rips that pinch right off, uh, exposing a big ventilation shaft. And um, it's large. It's You can definitely fit a tauntaun through there, um, but you will definitely have to roll animal handling to see if you can actually coerce your tauntaun into going through there. Prison. I feel like it should be my escape vehicle. That's but... an option, too. Um, yeah. In the chat. Oh, I have a week roll... to think about how I want to handle it. Oh. Roll for back pain. <laughs> Yeah, roll for oh, back pain. <laughs> Wait, so I'm proficient at animal handling. Oh, so um, no. the tauntaun's not the... going with Atley. <laughs> proficiency. All right. Well, the tauntaun does not like Ingot has Ingot's loyalty hasn't changed, but she does seem really nervous. And you are like surprised at how easily Atley seems to be able to soothe the tauntaun um, and just gently persuade her into stepping into the ventilation. Really? Shaft. What's your proficiency oh. bonus? Atley does it. Yeah, um, what's your proficiency bonus? So I don't think I have. A it's bonus, under your inspiration proficient. thing. Oh, uh, inspiration. Hang on, I can check. Oh, three. I there use my proficiency oh, bonus my... on animal handling. Oh. Okay, so Atley, <gasps> Atley is the one who persuades Ingot to enter the ventilation shaft. Do, do the rest of you want to? So now the Tauntaun is the only one in the prison. Would the rest of you like to follow? <laughs> I'm in there. I went in as oh, soon as Oh, you went the in grate immediately as soon as the yeah. grate came off. Okay, great. Is everyone else following? Yep. Yeah, I'm very close to my tauntaun. I'm like, I have my arm around. Okay. And I'm I, poking his ankles. has like, yeah. I've secured them to the entrance of the shaft. Okay. Awesome. Um, great. Well, then you guys find yourselves uh, here in the prison. Can you see? Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a little camera. Uh. <laughs> it does look like a little camera, the shape um, of it. Wait, wait, wait. How much of it can you see, guys see right now? A camera? You can see like a little square and then like a little bit coming out to the oh, right. Oh, don't look at don't, the, don't look at the stream. Don't look at the, <laughs> the stream. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, guys, I worked really, really, really hard to set up dynamic lighting for this because we oh, haven't needed dynamic, dynamic lighting, lighting for, okay, awesome. Yeah, we haven't. Working. You did it right. Uh, yes. We haven't needed it for anything yet, but I, this is a big map and I really wanted you guys to be able to explore it like the right way um yeah. so you don't want us to just run ahead and like explore everything and then yeah come back and so i'm very very glad that, that it worked that the dynamic lighting worked and so um this is very exciting now everyone is is in the prison you find yourselves in what appears to be a little storage room um at the end of that ventilation shaft um and you can just peer out uh through the open door and see, you know, regular old tiled imperial um, facility, metal siding on the walls, all looks pretty standard. And you hear the hum of equipment, beeps and boops. You, um, uh, and you. Yeah, and that's it. So uh, next week we will we'll pick up and uh, you'll continue with your your prison break. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry that it was kind of a short session tonight, but you know, sometimes bad things happen to good people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> including you know like their, your pow <laughs> their power okay. going out <laughs> so, um, stuff like that uh great yeah thank you all Yay. so much for joining us and i will see you next week farewell to uh our our viewers thank you for participating and may the force be with you good night Bye. Bye.